All right, we got up at 0515, no correction, 0330 for a 0500 live hit this morning, 25 minute drive to location. Got off the freeway to a text message that they killed our hit and we're on standby for 0700. So we just had a one hour breakfast, three cups of coffee, I'm wide awake. What's the temp right now? Uh, it was like, No, it's not that. What is it in C? 20 Celsius. 20 C. Foggy, but not rainy. I did not bring the easy up. So I'm gonna lay down in the van for a little bit and uh, wait for our schedule. Same location as my previous vlog. Did a whole bunch of hits over multiple days at this location. I think I'd, so I'm on my like third week where we've done at least a day at this same spot. This is not connected to the story. It's just geographically close to the correspondent that's filing the report. Uh, the story on this particular day is in El Paso, and they got the locator bug wrong on our live shot. We, you know, we're in San Antonio, but the story and the story footage is El Paso. You'll see that coming up. This is also the, our first shoot day with the new cabinet on the right-hand side of the van. So I got my son just working it out. I'm letting him figure out the order in which he wants to stack items. And we had a little back and forth trying to figure out what goes where. My suggestion was put the Aperture 300s at the back on the top of the stack because those are the things we're going to pull in and out over the course of the next multiple weeks. Several consecutive days working less than 20 minutes from my house has been nice after like four years of mostly long drives or airline flights. So we're either doing morning news and some days we're evening lineups. So in either case, I got like the middle of the day to do my own thing. All right, sun is up, but it's overcast. Very dark, I'm ISO 4000 and a 568 split. And I got the two 300s at full flood at 3%. And I had to back the left one up and the background's still about a stop underexposed, but we're gonna be here top of the hour for the next several hours. So wanted to start with the lights that we'll be using all day. In Texas, a judge ordering the release of some of the migrants who were allegedly involved in what was basically a riot, overwhelmed National Guard troops at the border, happened last month. Jorge Ventura is standing by for us live this morning. Jorge, who exactly from this group of people involved will be released and when? So, Marty, we are learning that yesterday the announcement came from an El Paso judge that will be ordering the release of dozens of migrants. It is being described as that border riot following that chaotic. Texas, Texas uh, technical border team there to the El Paso to regain border. So we're learning right now, Marty, around dozens of migrants, mostly men from Venezuela, will be released. Okay, new day. It's about 4.30 in the morning. Same location, and I'm digging through my junk drawer, looking for the shoehorn to get my boot on. It had been raining, and it's muddy, and I sprained my ankle in jujitsu class the day before. Couldn't find the shoehorn, so here I am hopping around trying to slide the boot on. So I'm going to let this run in real time. This is uh, what it looks like being half awake and setting up for a 0500 live hit.
Or a light stand, doesn't matter. It's just gotta be on an arm. We gotta hustle back because we're like less than 20 minutes out. You're saying as as of right now, like you're for next week, you're on hold. You said right? Uh, I can do Saturday through Monday. Okay. And maybe maybe your whole shift. I'll I'll check in with those guys today. But I can definitely do the first three days. That's not encouraging. I mean, uh, no California. Oh, well, I don't. I don't I'm, I'm gonna send the pitch today. Yeah. Just this is just just in case. Back up. Yeah. Like, pretty good chance I can do the whole thing. Definitely the first three days. Oh, actually, your mornings, huh? So, mornings on weekdays? Yeah, so I can do it. Uh, I think I can do the first four because I just have to drive to the panhandle on uh, Tuesday. I can do that in the afternoon. set up for you.
battery plate. And right. I think it's full flood. Hey Gary, got you on clear.
say uh, good morning. Mic check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mic check. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what Texas Governor Brad Abbott said to people who arrived March 21st, he had to send these people. Setting up for a live shot here in the swamp gonna get eaten alive next two hours so I had a few people ask how I'm powering my live view 300 exchanging emails last night with a photographer up in New Jersey uh, so I have this these fairly generic p tap to um, 12 volt connector cables I originally bought these for it well, well one came with my black magic video assist it's the gen 1 monitor the 5 inch and then also my Holly lands run off these these newer panels also use the same size connector so it, it's a standardized 12 volt and I believe the tip is yeah tip is positive ring is negative and uh, anyway you can get them on Amazon B&H eBay and then the live view I've been running this velcro carabiner that I learned from another photographer Jamie in LA appreciate the idea I bought a multi-pack of these on Amazon, whatever that brand is. I think it was like a 12 or 10 pack. So I have those on all my tripods now. And then carabiners just from the local building supply store. And then normally I run a dual battery shark fin on my FX9 to power all my accessories, wireless receiver, onboard monitor. I also patched the live view off one of the DTAP ports so live view cameras everything's powered off those two batteries but i also made an option here about this battery plate i have a bunch of these this is just a generic gold mount plate with an aluminum backing plate and i taped up the opening these are on ebay they're anywhere from 12 to 30 dollars with free shipping and then i drilled a hole through it to hang off the carabiners and then obviously there's a p-tap port there to go into the live view And a little over 15,000 Ecuadorians. Now, sources in Mexico are communicating and letting me know that in Mexico right now, there are still tens of thousands of Venezuelan migrants awaiting to enter the country through CBP-1.
Yeah, just hanging out in the swamp for the next couple hours. The mosquitoes have not found us yet, but I know they're coming. I got the silk standing by, but I don't think we're going to need it. We got so much tree cover. Good morning, El Paso DA Bill Hicks sending a strong message during yesterday's press conference saying that violence would not be tolerated in his community. He also defended his office decision to prosecute the 200 migrants who are currently in jail right now facing state charges for their alleged role in that border riot that took place on March 21st. All right, so we're getting ready to do a hit here. I'm just looking at our previous hit. And I'd say we're a little on the green white balance versus studio. Everything looks warmer on this iPhone than reality. So one plus exposure adjust here. I went plus three on the tint to see if this is a closer match. And we'll, we'll check off air in about eight minutes. A new previous edition. I purchased two Astra 6X by color. They were on sale. I own two of these and I had the Gen 1s as well that were replaced with the 6Xs. I sold them in 2021. They were part of the package I left behind in Los Angeles and thought I was just moving on to newer technology. But for shooting TV news, live shots and quick interviews in the field, the Astra is still the best option. And when I'm working for a one-off producer, like a call for breaking news and it's someone I don't know, they expect industry standard stuff. And I deviated from that a bit. So they're on sale. I bought two. Now it's $175 for the light panel, gold mount battery plate and the power cable. I have enough parts sitting around. I have two, I don't even remember what I pulled these off of. I think they were cameras. Anton Bauer. OEM battery plates, which seat and fit and the spring on them is much higher quality and the batteries don't shatter as much as the like generic and third party brand gold mount plates. So I have two of these. This one's really old. This was off one of my Panasonic broadcast cameras from the, oh, I think early nineties. And uh, I had these other switches in here for switched power. I didn't, I don't even recall what all of that was for. I haven't seen it on any of the newer plates. But, um, so I had purchased two DTAP to four pin XLR power cables off of Amazon or eBay for this and then discovered, oh yeah, it's a uh, three pin on the light panels. So that's okay. I can use these as spares for my Flanders monitors. Those are in fact four pin DC. And then I purchased on Amazon two. Oh, also those were not right angles. I missed that note. So I bought two three pin XLR right angle. These are power versus audio. They're actually for um, speakers, loudspeakers. And then uh, the only thing missing was the proper length screws. This has already got pre-tap holes that line up with the plate. It doesn't appear I need a backing plate. I thought these were M3. Went to a hardware store. They're not M3. They're actually, I thought maybe 632s. Nope, they're, four, I believe, was it 440, 1440? One down from 1632, ah oh, shoot, I don't know. Fractions, so confusing. I can tell you they're five eighths long and they're about two thread lengths too long, but there is enough clearance under the battery plate. Oh my gosh, this is two minutes, 40 seconds. Well, I'll chapterize this if this is boring for y'all. Uh, oh, and then I just need some cable to go from the battery plate to the connector on the light. I am going to use, I have that reel down there of black SJO 123 Stinger cable. Um, I only need two of the three conductors, obviously, but since I have that here in the garage, that's what I'm going to use. So, all right, I'm going to heat up the soldering iron, got my solder sucker, and I'm going to try to remove all this wiring and these blobs of solder. Progress update. The SJO cord was too thick, so I had to run to the store and get some lamp cord, 16 gauge, two wire, and I just put a drop of medium thread lock on each of the threads, and I'm going to now seat these screws. No sparks, no smoke. I got the polarity correct. So if I go straight daylight, 50% on a core battery, it's like three hours, 75%, second hour 20, 
100% daylight. Less than an hour. Ooh, it's getting warm on my leg. 56 minutes. Not bad. Now let's go 50% and half and half. Does that change the draw? Okay, so that's like half and half. 4,500 Kelvin. Now let's go straight daylight. Hmm. And now let's go straight tungsten. Okay. Interesting. All right. One down, one to go.